Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, Giannis C. Yortsos. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, and welcome to the 2016 Viterbi Graduate Commencement. What a special day, isn't it? It's nice to see you all on this important day. Commencement is a wonderful time of the year. For all of us, it's a time of goodbyes to old friends and new beginnings. Students graduate and carry with them all the experiences they accumulated over all the years from their interactions with our faculty in the classroom and labs to internships and to learning from each other. In the fall, new students will join us, and this cycle will recommence. It is this process of renewal, the farewell to the graduates and the welcome to the new ones that we celebrate every year. I want to congratulate each and every one of you on the singular achievement of earning a graduate degree from the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, ranked among the best in the world. I'm sure you had more than a few worry-filled sleepless nights along the way, but I, I know that it's worth the effort. We have joined an elite club of some of the world's most dynamic thought leaders, business builders, and entrepreneurs. I'm confident that future Viterbi leaders will speak glowingly about the contribution of your class, whose members come from more than 47 countries around the globe, including Mexico, New Zealand, Russia, Greece, Japan, <laughs> Lebanon, <laughs> not to mention China and India. <laughs> 213 among you have earned degrees via Dern Art de Viterbi, our nationally top-ranked distance education program. It's been ranked number one in the nation for the last four or five years. I don't know, I've lost count. And 67 of our graduates maintain a perfect 4.0 GPA. Pretty impressive for an engineering curriculum. Congratulations to you. I'm not only the dean of the engineering school, but also I am a parent of two Viterbi students. My daughter graduated in computer engineering, computer science four years ago, and my son, Stevie, earned his bachelor's degree last year, and is currently studying for his master's. He will probably graduate in December or next year. He may be with one of you around here. Therefore, I want to especially welcome my friends, all of your parents, whose love, guidance, and commitment help produce this impressive class of tomorrow's leaders. And I'd like to ask you to stand up and applaud and thank your parents and friends for all that they have done for you. Please stand up and do that. Thank you. This year, we will uh, have a special celebration um, to honor the uh, winners of the Fleischer Prize Award. The Fleischer Prize honors excellence and innovation in green technology, which improves the environment for all of us. There are six winners this year who are to be congr congratulated. Please come to the stage after I call your name for a group pic picture. We have six students. Two of them are graduating this year, Chandray Manas Das and Sagarika Badacharya. Continuing students will be Anuran Ghosh, Johnny L.A., Prasanth Morkonda Umachandran, and Sandhya Tirukovaluri. Please come over here so that we can take a group picture with all of you.
Thank you. Congratulations. Also, I would like to thank from this podium the graduates who served on the executive committee of our Viterbi Graduate Student Association. Sai Navia Gurisedi from ISC Vice President Programs. Senators Jason Teixeira from ISC. Ayush Pathak from EE. Eva Ever Soon from AME. And Roderick Vanderskov from ASD. Thank you all very much for your service. With some very special Denard Viterbi graduates this year, many of whom are working professionals, like Brandon Michaelis from Hemonetics. Brandon traveled to Malaysia to support the manufacturing transfer for his company while fully participating in his biomedical engineering classes through Denard Viterbi. We also have 18 active duty military personnel and veterans graduating today, most of them receiving support from Denard Viterbi and this includes an active duty Air Force graduate in Korea. <laughs> Army officer Andrew Plucker served his country with distinction in Afghanistan. Today, he will earn his master's degree in operations research engineering. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you to all of our active military personnel and veterans for your service. Graduates, as you prepare to enter the real world, remember that it grows more complex every day, but so are the opportunities that unfold before you. But you have studied the right discipline of our times, and you have been equipped with the best toolkit for the 21st century, our century. Legendary aerospace engineer and mathematician Theodor von Karman said several de de decades ago, Scientists discover the world that exists. Engineers create the world that never was. This is what you're going to do. Create the world that never was. Today, thanks to engineering and technology, our world is being recreated and reimagined like never before, with an astonishing speed exponentially in front of our very eyes and its engineers and technologies that drive this reimagination. Our goals as an engineering school are to educate remarkable students and enable so that when they graduate, they can exploit all possible phenomena from physics, chemistry, biology, social sciences for the benefit of humanity. It will be you who will help solve the big challenges of our time. For make, whether making solar energy economical, securing cyberspace, engineering better medicines, addressing climate problems, providing access to clean water for all, or feeding the hungry. It will be you who will build new and innovative technologies that we cannot even imagine today. This giant leap for, leaps forward will fuel our economy in this nation and the world. They will create new jobs, industries, and they advance the collective well-being. In short, you will create the world that never was. We have given, given you a canvas and colors. Now it's up to you to, bait, to paint the beautiful pictures of the future. I can't wait to see all the wonderful things that you will do. Thank you, congratulations, and fight on. <laughs>